Well, hi, good morning. Thanks for joining me here in my shop. Today is May 14th. And what I hope to focus on today is the issue of images. And I'm going to use this radio, which I think is a good choice, for exploring this question. Really, I'm exploring this radio. So just a couple things about images before I get going here uh, and how I'm going to approach this. I think the simple thing for me to do is uh, tune the radio, pick a band, tune the radio to a certain frequency, calculate where the image, let's call it the image sensitivity would be, what frequency would be image sensitive, and then tune my uh, signal generator here to that frequency. Have a listen. Here, here, if something comes out of the speaker when there really shouldn't come out. We already know that the image rejection on the highest shortwave band is poor. Uh, it's going to be much poorer at the top than at the bottom because uh, that band goes all the way from 15 megahertz up to 30. That's a doubling of frequency. That's quite a range. The other bands, I'm not so sure. I think in the case of the broadcast band, uh, we will never be able to hear uh, a signal at the image sensitive frequency, I think, on the broadcast band. So a few things to explore, how the, how the different bands vary, and how at the high end or the low end of the band the situation varies. Uh, I don't plan to do this in a quantitative way, and we're just going to listen. Because in the end, when you're using these radios, what are you doing? You're listening. And it might be interesting to find out just uh, what impact uh, an image could have. And I've just been thinking about this before I, I've started. I'm starting here. If you tune in a signal, say a shortwave broadcast, a relatively strong one, your radio will become less sensitive automatically through the automatic uh, volume control function. As it becomes less sensitive, it becomes less sensitive to the image. So if there happened to be another powerful station at the image sensitive frequency for the station you're listening to, I'm thinking chances are you'd never you'd never hear any interference. I don't know for sure. Um, and what infer interference would you hear? You might hear a heterodyne simply because the two frequencies are not bang on. Well, in today's world, <laughs> everything is kind of bang on. So I don't know really what you would hear. Um, I mean, in the worst case, you'd hear program material from the station at the image frequency on top of the, what you're listening to. I think the real problem here is tuning in an image without realizing it. So maybe between bands, somewhere, somewhere between bands where you shouldn't pick up a shortwave station, there's one there. So we'll try to see if we can make this happen. Uh, there's really only one strong shortwave station uh, at this time of day. This may be even a little bit too early here in the morning for it. And that's at 9.33 uh, megahertz. A very strong station there normally. So that one might be strong enough that we can pick it up as an image. It depends upon the frequency, the range of the radio, all kinds of factors. So, so these are the things I want to play around with today. And uh, I think this is a good choice. This radio, it has a lousy front end. It has a missing front end. It, it doesn't. It has the uh, the cheap version of things, if you like. There's no front end RF tube. There's no front end RF stage prior to the mixer tube. This is uh, from the antenna through some coils straight to the mixer tube. So this guy would be more sensitive to uh, to images. Okay, uh, everything's just about ready to go. Why don't we start? I don't know if I really need to access underneath the radio. <laughs> Stop looking at it sideways. And we'll look at it face on. I'm connecting the output of the signal generator. What will be the output of the signal generator to the antenna here? Focus just 
doesn't seem to be with it these days. Here we go. Let me adjust the anti-bounce mechanism system here. Anti-camera bounce. Okay, we'll turn this guy on. We'll start on the broadcast band, a band I don't think we're going to get any images on. The images are always, uh, the image sensitive frequency is 910 kilohertz away from the target or the tuned frequency in the direction of the local oscillator. In this radio, the local oscillator is above all the time. So we're always looking for the image above the regular uh, fre the frequency we're actually selecting on the dial. There we are. Let us go down. Okay, so here's a weak station. A weakly received, poorly received station. Well, one main reason for that is there's no antenna on this radio except the lead to my, <laughs> to my signal generator. Weak signal. AVC not active. Radio quite sensitive. So if we put a signal at the image frequency, we should hear something. So what would that be? The image frequency is 900. For easy calculating, 900 above the frequency you're tuned to. Take 640, add 900, get 1540. Oh my gosh, my signal generator is sitting right there. 1540. Okay, so we'll tune this around, my signal generator. The uh, signal level output is relatively low right now. And uh, we'll see if we hear any heterodyne or anything in here. Go. No modulation. just around this frequency. Sure enough, there it is. So if you ever tuned in an AM radio station and you hear this kind of sound, the heterodyne, that, that tone you hear, the pitch, could it be from an interfering station somewhere at the sensitive image frequency? The answer would be yes, it could be. But everybody's uh, transmitter is dead on frequency. I assume these days they're dead on I mean, to, to, to many decimal points. So, you know what else? I don't have this on full power. Not that that will make any difference. So we'll, we'll go up and we'll try this on the other, on the other, other end of the band here. Now there's there's no stations to pick up here, but if we do pick up the image, if the image comes through, we'll know it. I'm pretty sure. So pick a nice round number up here. Oops, oops. This is at zero. Nice round number would be about. Oh, it's hitting this wire again. I have to do something about this wire. Fifteen. Let's put it on fifteen. Where, where's fifteen? Fifteen's right here. Fifteen plus nine hundred be uh, twenty-four hundred. Okay, so we'll dial up twenty-four hundred on here. Now, obviously, you're not going to hear another AM station at twenty-four hundred. There isn't anything. Sure, there's a lot of noise up there though. Twenty-four hundred. It's around 1300. That's almost what we're tuned to. That must be what we're tuned to. Yeah, you know what? We're actually tuned to 13. I got this in the wrong spot. 
Uh, let's do it where I planned. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, for sure that's fifteen. That's a nice, nice little double check of myself here. There's the fifteen. So now we add the nine hundred and get twenty-four. Without increasing the signal strain, you get nothing. Go up. There it is. A little more signal strength. Well, you can listen to it. So now if there happened to be a loud noise signal, now there's lots of noise here, uh, I'm sure, but a noise signal from some kind of device or something like that, it would have to be awfully strong. This is a very strong signal being fed to the antenna terminals of this radio. Stronger than you would normally find on an antenna. Um, some noise signals seem to be very, very strong, by the way. So, Okay, so that's image rejection there takes a strong, strong signal to come through. And, uh, volume down, we'll go to the next band. So, so this is now running from just above the AM band to 5 megahertz. We'll, we'll, we'll go down to the bottom here. There's, there's pretty much nothing, nothing really to receive here. How about that? There's my signal generator. Hey, there's something there. I'm tuned to get this right. 1.7, but 1.775, 1.7, and I'm hearing 2.4. The scale can be off here quite a bit. And my frequency counter is just taking a break here. Why would that be? Why would you pick this up? 2400 being picked up at almost 18. You got me. Okay, we'll continue up. Yeah, my frequency counter goes wild now and then. Let's see what else we got. because the frequency counter is taking a break. 2600. Twenty six hundred is actually up here. This again this is a very strong signal. Let's cut it back. Is that really two? We should get a 2600 reception right up around here. That's the real one. What's it doing down here? <laughs> That's a lot more to explain here than I expected. We're hearing something from 2600 and we're hearing it at 18. If you double 18, you get 3600. If you add 900 to 18, you get 27. That's close. That's on the wrong side, isn't it? Okay, let's. Uh, No, that's perfectly right now. That's perfectly right. So I'm... I'm da, 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 yaba, ba, yaba. There's just too many numbers here this morning. Okay. We're tuned to... Let's, come on, make it easy. We'll go to 2. Tuned to 2 megahertz. Yeah, that, that's the problem. I'm not using easy numbers. 2 megahertz. There it is. 4.55. That's... Uh, <laughs> okay, 
Okay, hold on a second. Um, two. We're picking it up at picking something up at fourteen fifty-five. We're supposed to be picking it up at two uh, four fifty-five, not one four fifty-five. That's what we're tuned to. Hmm. <clears throat> you know what this tells me? Local oscillator is uh, below on this band. Okay, so we're dialed in at two. No, it should be nine hundred higher. Come on, Jim. Two nine, two point nine, two point six, two point. There it is, two point nine. What was that at two point six? This is way more. <laughs> way <laughs> more coming out of this radio than I figured on. So, sticking with the image situation and trying to keep my numbers straight. The radio is tuned to 2, but if there were a station at 2.9, it would come through almost loud and clear. Okay, I'm going to have to put a meter on this, I think. So, just listening to the sound here, how loud it is. And I'm going to go down to two. And is it is it the same loudness or louder? Should be louder. Oh, it's louder. What's this? What's that doing there? So there's there's two more signals in here. This is all becoming way more complicated than I expected. Let's just run through the. Uh, let's run through these bands. The picture is different than what I expected. I have to think about this. We're on four megahertz. <laughs> you hear how many different signals came in as I just. Oh my gosh. We're below four. There's four where we're tuned. Lovely, lovely signal. There's a 0.2, 4.2 something. 4.7. So 4.9 is the image. What the heck are these other things? I'm going to have to map all this out. I'm going to have to make a diagram, map out these different frequencies that I'm receiving, or sensitivity spots. You know, you think you tune a radio to one spot, that's what you're hearing, but this radio is picking up four different things on this pan. It's so it seems. Again, if you're listening to a signal, radio sensitivity goes down, all these issues go down with it. But when you're tuning around looking for stuff interesting, you're listening to the noise, you could come across this and think it's there. What a disaster in your life that would be. <laughs> you'd, be you'd be writing writing things on the internet. I picked up this at this frequency. Look, let's go up another band. The situation, whatever it is, should only get worse as we go. Up another band. This band's quiet also. This up a fair bit. I think I can't make many decisions about anything till. Uh, so that's around ten, and that's around five. So this thing has harmonics too. This signal generator has harmonics. I found out 
some time ago. Nothing is pure in this world. We'll go down to the bottom. Okay, so that's the actual. That's really sensitive, isn't it? It's really, really super sensitive. Okay, the radio tuned there. The uh, and where is tuned to basically five. So at five nine hundred, five nine hundred, we should hear a signal. Five nine hundred. So here we are. Very low signal level. There it is. Same low signal level. Nobody else coming in. Okay, I'm gonna bump it up. Way up. This would be the strongest signals you, you, you tend to find on an antenna. Just come back down. That was the uh, image. Well, this, this band is clean. clean. It's, it's, a, it's clean. It's just got the signal and, the, and its image and nothing more. And uh, for sure, the local oscillator is above because we're finding the image above. Okay, uh, we'll go to the top of the band and repeat this. Okay, so 14 megahertz. So at 15,910 is where we should find a uh, image. So here's 14. Quite a roar comes through when you tune something in. That says something about this receiver. I'm not sure what, but it's. There we go. Where's the image? There it is. We're going to go down. the image nothing give it a little the strongest signal you'd ever encounter on an antenna type thing here just the two just the image and the actual signal Top band, top band, everything's quiet. Very quiet. Okay, we'll start at the bottom again. Here, which is 14.8. Uh, we we'll go up 900. We're at 15.7. 15.7. We should hear the image. The low level signal. Nothing. A little higher. Stupidly strong signal. 
So will the loss layer tune below? Is that what that means? Um, I'm going to move this up to 15. 15. So if that's the case, we'll pick some. We'll pick this up at 14.1. If the local loss layer, so that's where it is. 15.1, 14.2. Local oscillator below. Well, this has been quite an interesting little thing here. <laughs> it's not, it's not, not coming out the way I expected. There's more going on. The uh, relationship between the local oscillator and the target frequency, I think in this radio, the local oscillator should always be above. Seem to me it's below on at least this band and maybe another. Okay, um, okay, I'm, I'm going to leave it at this right now. It's another beautiful day, so I'm just going to leave, leave it like this. Lots of questions. Uh, tomorrow I'll try another approach, or you know what I may be doing here? I may be setting this radio aside for future experimenting and getting back to doing some some uh, some real work. I think I'm going to do that. I have a German radio to work on here. I should get busy on it because I think this is going to go on for a while. I will do the study. I will, I will do the study and we will see what the results of that are. I'll, I'll put that on this video. Um, yeah, great. Very, very well, pretty interesting stuff. I can't say I've really ever done this before with a radio this carefully. Hmm. Well, I've almost finished making my chart. I'm on the uh, highest band now. And what I'm doing is I'm guaranteeing that I've tuned the radio to the frequency I want to do this at. I want to do this at 20 megahertz on this band. So I have the pointer dialed to 20. Hello? Okay, that was a weird phone call. Pretty sure that was a duck cleaning service calling me. Okay, where was I at? Um, right, I, so I'm tuning the radio into 20. To make sure it's at 20, I dial this up to 20. And when this says 20, then this must be tuned to 20. So let's do that. I'll tune this up to 20. Okay. Turn up the volume here. Now all I gotta do is just tune that in on the radio and I know I'm at 20. Which one's 20? Uh, I don't know. This one sounds louder. Okay, we'll go with that being 20. Why does it sound so horrendous? It should be a nice clean tone coming out of there. Hmm, another problem. Okay, so assuming this is 20, the other one would be... <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, let's just do it here. We'll say this is 20, and I will do what I've been doing. Just carry on doing it here. Watch how I'm doing it. Okay, so we'll go down towards the bottom of this bag. Signal strength up a bit. Now we'll just tune upwards towards 20 and see what happens. What comes out of this radio. Okay. 
19.1. So I'm going to mark that on my chart. So I have a chart here I'm marking all these different frequencies on. 19.1. fairly strong. Okay, keep going. That's the 20. Nothing else? I see, expecting all kinds of excitement here. Nada. Okay, we'll put the signal strength up a bit. Come back down. <whistles> Nothing. Just the two. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Here's the results. The band we just did is here. So when we think we're tuned to 20, we find a image at 19.1 that puts a local oscillator below. I thought I put it above. <laughs> oh well, okay. So let's leave this band out of the picture. Let's go up to this one. So this guy, this is the broadcast band, with it tuned to one megahertz, and I can pick something up when my signal generator says 500 because the signal generator has a harmonic itself at, at a million. And way up here, 19. Oh, 06. So that'd be 9, 9, 10 added to 1. So that's the image. It's right at the top of the band here. Now, I wasn't really covering signal strength, but I can tell you that this was fairly easy to hear, I remember. From then on, I started marking signal strength by the length of the line. <coughs> the uh, target uh, signal it, it should be the loudest all the time, should have the longest line. So you get some kind of relative idea of what's going on here. So coming to this band, so we pick up down here again, that's a harmonic. The signal generator is transmitting at 3 megahertz when it says 15. Uh, what's that? I don't know. So we come up here, we go up here. 3.94914. So this, this is the uh, image sensitive location, or where the image, where you should be concerned about the image response right here. Then we go up way higher, did this by accident, and found these signals. There, you could hear them. They were fairly quiet, but they were there. Look at those weird numbers. Okay, on this third band, we're tuned to 8. We would expect the image at 8.910. There it is there. But in between, I've got these two little signals. And this one, this one's fairly, fairly strong. If I cranked up my signal generator, maybe I, I'd write some more in here, too. But again, way up at the high end, we're getting some stuff. When the signal generator's tuned to these frequencies, I hear stuff at 8. And way down here, we had the double, 4, which means it's just a harmonic situation with the signal generator. What's this? 4.49, what the heck is that? So it would seem to me that this band, the top band, the broadcast band, and the shortwave band seem to be operating normally. They're doing what I would normally expect. Doesn't mean they're doing it well or anything, but it just has just the image, nothing else. This guy, this is a good band to receive shortwave because you're going to probably get a lot of stuff <laughs> doing around. It's just you, you won't know for sure if it's if you're hearing eight. Although you see this relative signal strength is quite dramatic here. You know, but if you're snooping around on short wave, and who's going to do that with this old radio? I mean, really, let's get realistic here. But if you were, you could stop at stuff to listen to, and you think you're listening to eight, when in fact you're listening to 8.6. Something like that's going on. Why, why is all this happening? That's the question. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it there. For now, because uh, I mean the image thing I follow, the other ones I got to do a little bit of thinking, figure out why signals are showing up there, and it, it may not be the fault of the radio. It may be the fault of my piece of equipment here. I mean, it may be doing something. I don't know. I don't know. That's great. It's a great state to be in. Not knowing. Okay. 
Um, uh, I'll see you on the next video, but I think I'm going to set this radio aside. We'll carry with it, carry on with it in a, in a maybe a month or two, something like that. In the meantime, I can think more about all these weird signals I'm receiving and whatnot, and uh, get on with the uh, the next German radio. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, see you on the next. See you tomorrow.